The Milgram experiments on obedience to authority figures was a series of social psychology experiments conducted by Yale University psychologist Stanley Milgram. They measured the willingness of study participants, men from a diverse range of occupations with varying levels of education, to obey an authority figure who instructed them to perform acts conflicting with their personal conscience. Participants were led to believe that they were assisting an unrelated experiment in which they had to administer electric shocks to a learner. These fake electric shocks gradually increased to levels that would have been fatal had they been real. The experiment found unexpectedly that a very high proportion of subjects would fully obey the instructions, albeit reluctantly. Milgram first described his research in a 1963 article in the Journal of Abnormal and Social Psychology and later discussed his findings in greater depth in his 1974 book, Obedience to Authority, an Experimental View. The experiments began in July 1961 in the basement of Lindsley Chittenden Hall at Yale University, three months after the start of the trial of German Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann in Jerusalem. Milgram devised his psychological study to answer the popular contemporary question. Could it be that Eichmann and his million accomplices in the Holocaust were just following orders? Could we call them all accomplices? The experiment was repeated many times across the globe with fairly consistent results. The victim is an accomplice of the experimenter. The drawing is rigged so that the naive subject was always the teacher and the accomplice always became the learner. Of a hundred people placed in this situation, how many do you think would just go right on to the end in Mr. Wallace's, if Mr. Wallace were out there and say Mr. Williams for some reason or other said keep going? You're asking me how many? Out of a hundred, right. Well, personally, I think yeah, if you get one or two, you'd be lucky. Well, I'm not sure lucky is, is the right <laughs> word. Forty psychiatrists at a leading medical school were also asked to predict the performance of 100 hypothetical subjects. They predicted that only a little more than one-tenth of one percent of the subjects would administer the highest shock on the board.